One minute to the start of the race. One minute to the start of the race. Timing here is a little bit tricky. I think uh, these guys are trying to account for the current, which again is pretty strong. It looks like Icarus is controlling the start right here. Uh, hopefully they don't have their timing wrong with the current. We got a lot of boats now starting to accelerate towards the line. 17 is still really early. That's why their sails are loving. Three, two, one, mark. Great start by 17. Great start by 17. Those, those lead boats have a pretty big advantage because the other boats have to sail through. Uh, a little surprise, see Mari in the back and Dragon, those are two uh, compass programs. Really good start by Icarus. Keep in mind these guys have to go to a first mark, kind of around, uh, around the point here, and then head straight out to seas. Here we are back at City Marina. Uh, in Charleston, South Carolina, 40 Degrees has returned to the dock with their broken mast. Uh, we're undergoing some assessment at the moment to try to figure out what happened when they dropped their rig about a mile and a half into the first offshore leg from here to New York City. Uh, as of right now, they've retired from this leg, uh, the first leg of the 2012 Atlantic Cup, and uh, we're going to assess the situation as the night progresses and figure out whether or not there's something that can be done to get these guys back into the race uh, for the Newport Inshore Series. That's a Charleston kid on that boat. Charleston kid on the lead boat. They got 650 miles to go before they sleep.